covenant is an agreement that the people of a community make with God on the type of society that they want to have. The Eastchester Covenant is a document that is the uh, founding core of the principles by which the town was governed. And in 1664, the town of Eastchester was created geographically uh, in that deeds were given uh, by the Pells and uh, the footprint of the town was established. For me, the Eastchester Covenant is the spirit of the covenant, the spirit of giving, the spirit of community, um, and, and of a coming together of a community to celebrate its heritage and its history. Puritans founded hundreds of small towns across New England, all the way down here to Eastchester. And each one of these communities had a covenant, a religious agreement that they made with God on the type of community that they wanted. Each one of these covenant had to fit local circumstances. Well, the Eastchester Covenant was signed over a period of about a decade or 12 years. Um, we're not sure who put pen to paper first, who crafted the words, but the version we have, which is right here, um, the Richard Shute, the f first town recorder, this is his handwriting. So we can actually read the people who signed. Philip Pickney, Thomas Shute, the mark of Nathaniel White, the mark of Nathaniel Tomps Tompkins, William Haydens, John Hoyt, and so forth. If you think about it, East Chester, uh, though many, many towns now no longer have that small town feel, East Chester is certainly the opposite of that. We are still small town feel. We are groups of families, family to family, neighborhood to neighborhood and collectively we formed the town of East Chester. The Covenant had 26 separate articles. Um, some we no longer do anymore. There's not a day in the spring when we co go out and kill rattlesnakes. Remember at the time, these are Puritans that established the government of East Chester. They escaped persecution. So they were very careful to have a very cooperative and um, a very uh, coordinated type of government. The covenant established how they would interact with each other and how they would relate to each other, which was a skeletal form of government. It's really a very democratic government where all the people in the, well back then it was all the men in the community who owned property would be involved in the government. They decided to establish relationships with each other, parcel to parcel, family to family, and that was the nature of their governance. The covenant stated that we would have a school. Well, we have schools today. Uh, we have one of the first schools in Westchester County. Uh, we would have a church, St. Paul's Church, where Eastchester was founded as one of the oldest in Westchester. And it told us how we would behave. And there's one great phrase from the covenant, uh, Christian love and civil honesty. The core of the covenant is that each family and family to family should treat, treat each other with civil honesty and Christian morality. We were going to be respectful of each other, family to family, person to person. And that we thought was really what was most important about the covenant. And these, those are the moral foundations upon which our community is based. We have a vault here in East Chester Town Hall in the town clerk's office. The temperature of it is controlled and the humidity of it is controlled. And our oldest documents, including the Eastchester Covenant, are all kept in archival boxes under archival paper. So in 1668 to the time there was a file cabinet, mm -hmm. it, they were kept in, file, in metal boxes and they were passed from one recorder to the next recorder to the next town clerk. And so thankfully, they have re survived for 350 years, which is pretty remarkable when you think that there was a revolutionary war, war fought on these grounds. And yet we still have these papers that predate that time by 100 years, and that in the course of people purging offices and basements, that it was never thrown away. One thing we did which is interesting, I thought was appropriate. In Town Hall, where we're standing now, when you first walk in the front door, the first thing you see is this uh, frame behind me, and this is the deed to the town of East Chester and the East Chester Covenant. 
because we felt it very important that when people come in, they see this is the core of East Chester. This is the covenant and this is the deed. And it, I think, is very appropriately placed. We are the only surviving covenant in New York State. And over the years, while people might have read actually the covenant, they've stayed true in this town to its spirit of being kind, being honest, and being cooperative. And all of the giving and, and the community fund and all of the organizations that, and churches that, that have evolved in our town and, and continue to give, that spirit is in the spirit, is in the East Chester Covenant. What, what's the expression? Uh, those that don't learn the history are doomed to repeat it. You know, in that regard, I like to think that this provides a, a footprint, a map, as to how to proceed in the future. I, I, I love it when people come in and I walk in and I see people studying this and they're saying, hey, you like that, wow. Not only are they impressed that it was from 1664 and 1665, but that it's still very relevant today. That, I think, is the most important thing of all, to maintain its relevance and to keep it in good shape and good order for future generations.